Actually, we had a customer who traded a 1988 uh, Dodge van. She received $4,500 for it, and she bought a Pontiac G6, and it saved her about nine miles per gallon. Cash for Cluckers is clearly taking off for car dealers. Toyota has the top selling vehicle of the program, and J Auto Mall has sold 34 of them, mainly Camrys, just since Cash for Clunkers kicked off. It has really, really stimulated traffic. Not just for car dealerships. Think of it as Cash for Clunkers in reverse. Businesses like West Point Auto Parts are hauling off clunkers for cash. Within about 180 days, we have to. Uh, crush the cars and recycle them. West Point Auto Parts is one of the authorized salvage yards in the area participating in the Cash for Clunkers program. You see, once the deal is done at the dealership, service workers pour what's called liquid glass into the engine to disable it, then the salvage yards pick them up. Salvage yards actually pay the dealers a small fee for the vehicles, but then make money through scrap metal and the few parts they can actually sell. It's just mostly body parts and some tires and wheels and other stuff like that. Workers from West Point are picking up more than a dozen vehicles here at J Auto Mall alone and will likely see a boost in business until the brakes are officially slammed on the program. Uh, we'll probably be busy all week picking these cars up the rest of the week and probably next week too. We have, uh, we have several more. Now the clunkers like the ones you see behind me will eventually be towed and of course crushed within a certain amount of time. But what's interesting about this program is what's old sort of becomes new again. These vehicles will be crushed and turned into scrap metal, and a lot of that goes into making new vehicles. Maybe even the next ride you'll have on the road. Zanetta Lowe, WTVM, Newsleader 9.